Hello everybody, let us talk about the LA Dodgers uh, 2020 season and see what they can do to pretty much make it to the playoffs, which if that's the case, it's just go like 20 games above 500 in the NL last. But uh, let's talk about what they did last year before I preview the 2020 season, the upcoming season. Last year, they finished 106 and 56. That's 50 games above 500. Obviously, finished first in the NL West. They lost in the divisional round of the National League to the Washington Nationals, which was a complete disappointment. The whole, pretty much since the Dodgers had made it to the World Series in 17, their goal every year, uh, every year coming into the next year, is to win the World Series. And they haven't done that. They haven't even been back to the world. Uh, 18, they went back. After that, they didn't. Uh, 19, they didn't even make it to the ch championship series. Um, so, uh, again, goal for the Dodgers, Dodgers this year is to win the series. Win the World Series. That's the only goal they have. They can't... They just can't win the division. They can't just... If they lose... If they lose anywhere in the playoff system... Their season's a failure. No matter what happens in the regular season, their season's a failure if they don't win the World Series. Um, before I talk about their key additions that they acquired in free agency, let's talk about the one that they didn't acquire because it's kind of a big deal, especially for the Dodgers, and that's Garrett Cole. They, uh, they needed Garrett Cole. They had to get him because that pitching rotation, the starting rotation last year, I mean... It, it was all right. It was good. It was good. Verging on great. I mean, you, Walker Buehler had a really good year last year. Clayton Kershaw's Kershaw. Uh, at that point, you saw it. Alex Wood, Rich Hill. Uh, Ryu had a really good year. Cy Young type year. And most of those pieces are gone or moved on. And they needed that number one guy. And they didn't get him. But... They did get a nice consolation prize in free agency, and that was a trade with the Red Sox. They got Mookie Betts and David Price. Nice consolation prize, but it's still not what they wanted. Because you get Mookie Betts, a top five player in the in Major League Baseball. And he's slotting into this lineup with Bellinger, Pollock, Turner, Seeger, Muncie, Smith, Will Smith, and Gavin Lux around the diamond. That lineup can already put up 10 runs. But I don't know how much how much getting bets helps because the offense wasn't the problem last year. It was the pitching. That's why you guys got eliminated in the divisional round. You couldn't stop the Nationals from getting clutch hits. So getting bets is nice. It helps. But it, they didn't address the problem. What addressed the problem a little bit was David Price. Now, is Price going to be what he was uh, in Tampa Bay and the, and the Tigers I don't know he's been battling injuries the past couple years he's not been great the past couple years so we're going to have to see if he can find his form because if he can find his form they got a pretty good pitcher in David Price to match up with Bueller and Kershaw that's not bad at all it's really good if he can find his form and uh they addressed, uh, they also re-signed Alex Ward to help with the starting rotation problem that they've had. That's a good move. They needed him. I think they needed him to round out their rotation. Um, and then they got two bullpen guys in free agency. Uh, that was Brizdar Gutero, still probably butchering his first name, and Blake Trinan. Trinan had a down year last year. Gutero, uh, he played a little bit in, uh, during the call-ups with the Twins, flamethrower type stuff, nasty movement. So we'll see if he can continue to improve going into the a World Series favorite in the Dodgers. Uh, but like I said, Trinan had a down year with the A's last year. So we'll see if he can find his form. Same with Price. Find his form and do what he did in 18 to help uh, the Dodgers lock up that back half of the bullpen. Key losses they had. They lost Kenta Maeda, who 
uh, started and uh, was a long reliever at some points throughout the season, uh, which hurts, but they're trying to lock up that rotation. Uh, they lost Alex Verdugo in the Red Sox trade, which promising young guy, lefty bat, um, but they they replaced him with getting bets, so I don't. Ha it's not a big loss for them. Uh, they lost Rich Hill, nice lefty reliever, or not reliever, nice lefty starter with uh, a, not a high fastball, but high enough, and then a slow curveball. So pace of, or change of pace pitcher really, really helps. Uh, just let him go. They didn't really need him anymore. And they lost uh, Ryu to the Blue Jays. Now, this one's probably going to hurt the worst as of right now because Ryu stepped up his game last year. What, under what under two ERA for most of the season? So he was lights out for 90% of the season. And we're going to see if the Dodgers can bounce back from losing all these starting pitchers and all these good starting pitchers. And if free agency is anything to go by, they're going to struggle with that throughout the season. Um, unless they do it internally, which they would have to at this point. Uh, stuff to look for, I think, throughout the season is best line. They got the best lineup in Major League Baseball, I think, hands down. You got two MVPs in Bellinger and Betts. And... Um, you just going to have to see maybe a bounce back year from Pollock. That's going to need to happen, I think, to help the Dodgers put up some more runs. Um, but no, I think they got the best lineup, 1-9, one 1-8 to nine, one to eight in Major League Baseball. So we're going to see how well, if the chemistry can uh, gel, see how well that's going to work out. That'll be some entertaining baseball to watch this year. Dodger baseball, that'll be entertaining. Um, and like I mentioned, kind of need a Pollock bounce back. He hasn't done what the Dodgers are paying him to do, which is to hit 280, 290, what he did with the Diamondbacks in his last year, because that's what they're paying him for. And he hasn't been able to produce that in L.A. Been hurt a little bit, so that might be the problem. But we'll see if uh, maybe with an early exit this year, uh, maybe he, he got some more rest, and maybe we can see a bounce back here. Maybe a comeback type player of the year, and not uh, Pollock. Uh, I think players to look out for. Um, I think Gavin Lux, second baseman starting out this year. See how well he can play, uh, especially a full year. Uh, one of the top prospects in the game, and we're going to see if he can uh, do uh, improve and uh, do what he was doing in the minor leagues uh, through his career. So that'll. It's a good young team that the Dodgers got built right here. So we're going to see how well Lux plays throughout the season. Hopefully a full season. Um, I think, like I mentioned earlier with Price, I think Price you got to look out for. Uh, see if he can return to form from 2018 Red Sox and the uh, Tigers and the Blue, or not Blue Jays, and the Rays years that he's had. He's getting up there in age, so that might be a problem. But... I think Price. I think Bryce could bounce back this year because he's not the number one guy in um, LA. He's the number three at most, and he was kind of the number two in Boston. So maybe they were relying on him too much here in LA. They don't need to really rely on him. I think as much as Boston has needed him to. Um, and then the last three guys you got to look out for. I think is just the back into the bullpen. Your seven, eight, nine guys, pretty much. Trinan, Jansen, and Ke uh, Trinan, Joe Kelly, and Kenley Jansen. All three of those guys had down years last year. Jansen, there was some health scares with him, especially, so he didn't really have a good year last year. Joe Kelly just did not have a good year, especially in the postseason. Had a down year, and like I said earlier, Trinan with the A's just had a um, off year. I would say. An offer, maybe that's his norm. Maybe that 17 year was an outlier, uh, but we'll see what can happen. Dodgers are taking uh, some risks with those three guys at the back of the bullpen, but we'll see if that uh, if that can work out throughout the whole season. Which I think, I think it might. If Kelly and Trinan especially can get back on track, especially with Jansen, if they can get back on track. That's a that's a nice seven eight nine inning, guys. Shut out, guys. Um, I think my guess for the Dodgers is you obviously got to put them first 
you obviously have to put him first in the NL West winning that division. They're they're the clear front runner to win that division. With even with the amount of nothingness they have done in free agency, they are complete confident they can win that division. Which with that lineup and rotation, I don't blame them. So, and they're the World Series favorite in the National League. I don't know how far the, the bullpen and the rotation are going to need to get better for them to make it further in the uh, in the World or in the playoff system, playoff bracket, because that's what cost them in nineteen. That's what cost them last year's. Their bullpen and their rotation was not good. So, because offense is going to put up 10, 11, 12 runs a game. But if the rotation gives up 13, 14, 15, you're going to lose. So, we're going to have to see if the bullpen and the rotation can lock it down. But, uh, that's that's it. If you, uh, comment down below and tell me what you guys think about the Dodgers, do you think they're going to win the series? Do you think Dave, Rob Dave Roberts is going to somehow mismanage the bullpen and lose in the divisional series again? Um, do you think the rotation is going to implode? Do you think they're going to sweep everybody win 162 games this year? Um, yeah, comment that down below what you guys think. Uh, like the video. Uh, subscribe down below if you haven't already. That would be greatly appreciated. Share this video with all your friends and buddies, and I will see you guys in the next video.